What's up YouTube? I'm back working on the trailer again. Today I'm going to show you what I did with the rack. I built the back in October when I first moved to Tennessee uh, and I was in a rush so I never made a video about it. But I'm going to show you how I made it. It's pretty simple. It's made out of Unistrut or Super Strut. Whatever you want to call it. It's a pretty simple process to build them. Uh, you can design it any, pretty much any way you want. Uh, pretty much a bolt together rack so I got that on there and also today I'm gonna put some lights on the trailer um, now you'll notice there's a lot of traffic noise going on around here because there's a highway going right there I'm not really gonna show you exactly how to like wire up with lights there's millions of videos out there to do it this is just kind of showing you what I'm doing with my trailer not how I'm doing with my trailer so here's the rack so it's made out of Unistrite you can pick it up at Home Depot or Lowe's what I did was I cut it all up bolted it together these are bolted straight into the cross members. This is actually pretty solid. Uh, I'm actually really surprised. I thought it was going to give me a lot of uh, front and back play, but it seems to be working pretty well. I got the L brackets here. These are also bolted down to the cross rails. That prevents it from going like that. I haven't had any issues with it, and I'm pretty fat. Uh, I think it's pretty solid. You know, notice on this side, I have it sticking out just a little further. Uh, I did this because I'll either run my water tank on the top or I'll have a bike rack up there. Uh, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to carry. The last time I had it was my water tank. Now a fatal flaw of the water tank being up there was that you need the water tank in sunlight and I don't really like parking my tent in sunlight because it makes my tent really hot. You're kind of at a, a crossroads there so I think I might put the water tank back on the element and just run my bike rack up here so I can have this in the shade and my helmet just parked out in the sun, heating up the water tank. Or I might make my water tank removable. So I haven't decided on that one yet. You'll see that later. These lights here, they're just single LEDs. They'll actually go up into this channel here and I'll bolt them in there like that. And that'll give me a top down lighting of the deck. I'm gonna put these pod lights, putting four of these, two on each side, right in the corners here. So they'll kind of point forward and backwards and out to the side. I'm also gonna put these back on. These are just the tail lights I have on my uprights. They're very bright. Uh, you can get those on Amazon. I'll try to link those down below. show you what's going on with these lights real fast for these lights that are going up into the channels what I'm using are these what the technical term for them are what they do is they go into this channel here get, get it in there one second so yeah the ones with the springs are a little difficult to work with trying to get it in the right spot because it'll poke through these holes every once in a while they also have these cone ones with the cone you just pop it in there and it spins into place when you start tightening it down and you can move it along wherever you need it so I took made these plates and they just attach like that I'm 90% sure I wired the back ones up wrong because I did that like three months ago so yeah white is ground I always forget that I always use black for ground like normal automotive stuff but these might not be for automotive. I don't know what they're for. But on these, white is ground. Now I'm 100% sure I wired up those lights wrong. These things right here are pretty cool. They're heat shrink with solder in them. So you put the wires in there and you just heat it up and they solder your wires for you. I don't know why I just now discovered these, but they're freaking awesome. And I love them. I really like this nylon sleeve. It expands and you can cut it down the length. Uh, I don't do it properly. I cut it then I apply it with a lighter. There's, there's actually special scissors for this, but I don't have them, so I just use a lighter. Then I heat shrink everything together and that's pretty much how I did that. So I'm gonna do the rest of it, then I'll be right back.
I got all the lights wired up now. Uh, the back lights were definitely not wired correctly. I fixed those and I fixed the other side's wiring, so that's all good. Set now, everything's all ran to where it needs to go for now until I get it wired into the box. Uh, the box will probably go on sometime next week. Uh, I gotta finish up the decking on the trailer. Then I gotta put the toolbox on. Then I gotta make a box within that toolbox to house like all the wiring controls. Uh, basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be able to run it from the element over here. Uh, it's got a uh, light control box on there. It's gonna be able to control the lights on the trailer as I'm going down the road. And there's also gonna be a battery on the trailer in the toolbox. All the wires come to this point right here. Um, this will eventually run into the toolbox, but I'm leaving it dangling for now so I can test it out. I made this lead to go from the trailer to the element so that I could test it off one of my original lights just to make sure all the lights are working. So I'm just gonna wait till it gets a little dark, so. Okay, so I got my wire going up here. Used to have lights hanging off the side of the tent, and this is where the wires go to. Figure I'd just run a wire to the trailer. Got the trailer hooked up so there would be ground. So let's find out if this works. I have it hooked up to the right side, so let's find out. Uh... Oh. All right, we have light. I think it lights up pretty good. The deck there is lit up nice and neat. So I'll be able to rummage around all my camp gear in the middle of the night if I need to. I'll be able to light up the trail as I'm going down it or light up the campground if I need to and attract all the bugs. Everything uh, works perfectly. So I'll catch you guys next time. I'm running out of time. Every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby. I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars